talking about Generation 4 Echo Dot. I decided I was going to buy a Generation 4 Echo Dot because I've been using Generation 2 for a long time. Uh, this is my main Echo Dot in my main room. Uh, so we're going to upgrade to Generation 4. Now in my living room I use Hugo. You can see his video right there. In my office I use Vector. Hugo and Vector are both uh, Alexa enabled devices. All right, so now we're going to use this in my main room. Um, it's interesting. Uh, they've made some changes to the Echo product. We now have, instead of, you know, the hockey puck look, we're now to about a softball. Uh, so they must have been inspired by sports when they were designing these. Um, we now have an integrated plug as opposed to using a micro USB with a, an adapter. And I noticed when I was looking at this integrated plug that it's now 15 watts as opposed to what drives this, which is about five. So we've increased power. We've increased power. So that must mean that we need more to drive the chip and the speaker. Now, from what I can see, uh, without taking it apart, uh, there is a chamber inside of this that the speaker lives in. So there is a chamber uh, that the speaker then can resonate sound through. So we should have better sound. Now, I haven't hooked it up yet. The other thing I want to point out, there's still a 3.5 aux cord on the Echo. That is cool. They didn't take away the aux cord. And we have a blue light now on the bottom. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Hola. Vamos a empezar. Installe la app d'Alexa et suivez les instructions. Bonjour. Votre appareil est prêt pour la configuration. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. Bringing your device online. Just a moment. Your Echo is ready. So we got at least three different languages there. We got English, Spanish, and French. Hola. And it's already installed into my device. So complete the Echo setup. It's almost ready. Tap to complete. So here we are. Uh, where is it going to live? It's going to live in our family room. Continue. All right. Our setup is completed. Easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. So let's start with... Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 68 degrees. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.01 a.m. Alexa, volume up. Alexa, play music. Here's a playlist you might like, 2010's Rock Hits on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Alexa, max volume. Alexa, play music. Okay, play music you like. Alexa, stop. All right. Can't play too much or I'll get copyrighted. Alexa, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So the volume seems to be a lot uh, higher. Seems to resonate a little bit more. Alexa, what time is it? 
The time is 9.02 a.m. It's still just a single speaker. Uh, it has a little bit more resonating sound to it uh, over the Generation 2 dot. Um, is it a need to buy? Um, I run my Generation 2 dot through um, my Harman Kardon speakers. So the sound, I have two of them, so I have dual sound. Uh, this doesn't really add that much more sound to it to make a big huge difference. It is cool looking. I'll give you that. Alexa, sing me a song. I've been thinking a lot about what makes me feel happy. The little things that happen day to Compared to this, the sound is uh, better. A lot better. Compared to this, hooking it up to my dual speakers, no comparison. All right, when you hit it, there's also an LED on the front when you mute, mute, mute. There's also an LED on the front when you mute it, and that LED lights up. If you unmute it, you have to hit the unmute button. This is now a musical instrument. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I do notice that the sound is directional. And what I mean that is I'm standing behind the echo dot and I noticed when I said Alexa, count to ten. One, two, the Three, sound is cast four, this way. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not cast back towards the wall where this had a sound that would radiant up and out. This one appears to be cast in the direction that you have the echo dot set at. So if you're setting your echo dot up, it's going to cast this way, not this way. Or this way. Um, so chipset is supposed to be better, supposed to make it a little bit more faster, more responsive. I, I'm not noticing it that much that makes a big difference. Uh, sound is better than this. Casting of the sound seems to be more centralized to a directional instead of an omnidirectional. Uh, the look, uh, hockey puck, softball. That's about the way I look at it. If I would have got it in kind of a grayish white, it would have reminded me exactly of a softball. Um, proprietary plug. That's kind of a, I guess a good thing, but also kind of a bummer. Because now, you can't just use any old, uh, if your charger dies, you can't just go out and use any old uh, phone charger on it. Uh, the look overall, the ring on the bottom, I think it would have been way cooler if the ring would have went around the center. Uh, that would have looked cool. Uh, is it a need to upgrade your Echo Dot to this? Um, I think it's more of a want. Uh, if you use this to play music, of course you're going to get a better sound than you're going to get from this one. Um, if you're like myself and it's not your main source for music, I mean, the Echo is our main source for music. We've gotten into the, such a habit of playing music right off of our Echo into the Harman Kardon speakers that um, there's, we don't even turn the stereo on. Matter of fact, my receiver doesn't even have, um, and we haven't programmed anything, and we haven't hooked up anything more than TV on the receiver I bought, um, which I should do a video on because it's a really cool, inexpensive, receiver so overall what do i think of the echo dot vert generation 4 um it's a good looking little device um i wasn't a fan when they came out with the fuzzy covered one i live in arizona arizona's pretty dusty so when you have something that has this type of texture it gets dusty uh, and this is way easier to clean.
But I thought it was time to upgrade to the latest and greatest Echo device. Um, and that's why I bought this one. I did not go with the clock because I have so many clocks in my room house. I don't need another clock. And why would I want a clock on the front of my Echo device when I can just say, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9, 11 a.m. So to me, the clock feature seems to be a, a waste of resources that could have been done for something uh, way cooler. But maybe some people don't want just this black little ball sitting on top of their thing. They want it to be look more useful than that. Um, overall, I like it. I don't think I wasted any money. It means I can probably wait a couple more generations before I upgrade. But here's the problem I see. Um, lots of times we upgrade just because, um, and that's kind of what people do nowadays. We upgrade to upgrade, not because something like this is broken, but because it is upgraded. Certain things I don't like to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. Matter of fact, I'll still have one or two of these in my house. Uh, but I was curious to see what the difference was. And the basic differences that I can see is this enclosure allows better sound than this. Um, I don't have the generation three because I did not see a need to go from this to a fuzzy looking hamburger. I did see the gen reason saying maybe this is enough improvement that I should upgrade. And I would believe if this is my only echo device and I'm playing music off of it, this would be a better upgrade than this. Unless you're using, as I do, my Harman Cardone, Cardone speakers, then this is just going to be another device that I use, like all the others. Uh, the proprietary plug uh, is interesting to me, but I can see why they did it, because they increased the amount of volts that this takes to power this. So it means it's going to take more power to power this than this because this only uses a little five volt up to five volt uh, power adapter so there you go um overall i like it i think it's cool looking i think it's neat uh it, do i think it's necessary it's not really necessary for my purposes it might be necessary for yours but i think it's definitely necessary for um amazon because Amazon Sidewalk, as they say, Amazon Sidewalk. Uh, and if you want more information, I'll put information about Sidewalk in the description. But basically, that helps Amazon connectivity outside of the home. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you soon. I also bought an Equiflex. Watch that video later.